talk to people, especially young professionals, they complain about their boss. You know, the boss is this and that, all sorts of things, and there are issues on that. I want to flip that around. How can someone who is in, uh, you know, who's in the working world has a boss over them, an authority who's overseeing what they're doing, how can they be a blessing to them and help support them uh, in what they're doing? I, I often find what happens when employees are complaining about uh, a, a leader that's mm -hmm. managing them, they, they really don't understand their leader's goals and objectives. Uh -huh. So I, I try to get them to reach out to that leader with wording like, hey, how can I help you? How can mm -hmm. I make you successful? Yeah. What, what do I need to be doing? to get you promoted. In any job that I ever got, that's what I would do. I, I would work with my senior leader and say, hey, what can I do to help make you successful? Because I want to make you successful and I want to make the company successful. Yeah. And I usually find when leaders hear that from employees, they get excited because they do want to be successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're having everyone on the same team working together. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's very critical. I mean, think about it as an employer someone comes to you and say, what's your goals? What's your motivations? How can I help you? Mm -hmm. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Because I'm hiring that person in the back of my mind thinking, how's this person going to allow me to achieve my goals? So if we're both on that same page, I think that's where the dichotomy comes in. Somebody who's interviewing sits there and goes, I'm coming here to achieve my goals. The guy behind the desk or the guy behind the desk says, I'm trying to achieve my goals. And the two never meet. But they're critical to each other and not mapping that out in advance can create animosity. So first step is, of course, remember that you should do all things unto the Lord, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the first step, and I think that's your first obligation, quite mm -hmm. honestly. Um, second is to realize that we both have an obligation to each other. And third, as uh, Mark has mentioned, we both have um, goals and, and dreams, and uh, how can we complement each other so that we can mutually achieve them? Mm -hmm.